Radio Sheffield. Good morning, it's Toby at Breakfast. It's BBC Radio Sheffield, where earlier this month we told you about the big knit. We're going to get 100 people in our open centre. Right underneath me, they're going to knit all day long. Today is that day. We told our reporter Andy Kershaw to get knitted. Yes, good morning, Toby. The idea is to make 100 hats for 100 babies born on the Jessup wing of Sheffield University's hospital there. We've got tea, we've got the wool, we've got the biscuits, and we've got some lovely patterns here, baby beanie hats to knit or crochet. Professor Alan Pacey from the University of Sheffield Medical School is here. Good morning. Good morning. So we're expecting 100 people today. What kind of people were coming? Well, all sorts, I hope. And we're trying to take the university out into the community and have the opportunity to talk to people that we might not ordinarily talk to about the wonderful things we're doing and also doing some good at the same time, like knitting these hats. What have you successfully done in the last few seconds? I've just finished off the hat that I started when I came this morning. Would you describe it? It's very, very, very small. It's about the size of a rather small orange. Um, so that's a size that a very premature baby's head might be. It's, it's quite terrifying, really. What's your experience of very premature babies? Well, my grandchildren were born prematurely and one of them was very, very small and possibly wouldn't survive. And certainly, I think, they would neither of them have survived if it hadn't been for the Jessup. It's all aimed at promoting medical research at Sheffield University's medical school. Lydia Harris is a scientist who had the idea. Where did the idea come from? Um, we had um, a briefing to try and think about what to do at Life Festival, and I'm a keen knitter as well as a scientist, and I just jokingly said, oh, knitters like a good natter, why don't we get all them together? We can talk about research while we're knitting for something for the hospital. And three months later, here we are. They're very tiny babies that are going to be wearing these, aren't they? They are. So these are babies that have been born too soon and they spend time in the Jessup wing on the premature baby unit. Now, the hats do have an important role because it helps to keep the young baby's head warm. But then what also can happen is that the hat can be taken home by the mother as she has to go home and see to other children. And actually, by taking home the smell of the baby, that helps with milk mm. production. Mm. so that she can continue to breastfeed the baby and stimulate milk even though it's back in the hospital. Right, ladies, thanks for everything today. We've managed to knit 300 hats! Yay! I'm a little tired, I have to say, but it's been brilliant. We've been here since 7.30 this morning and we've had a constant stream of knitters coming and going and all throughout the day we've had all our researchers popping down and research nurses and they've all been talking about our research and while they've been doing that they've managed to produce 300 hats, so it's been brilliant.